I, I think the key thing here is like melody. You know what I mean? He can he can rap and he can sing and he can combine both, and I think that's what's dope about it. Um, typically, those artists that can do both, they're like the most versatile with how they approach songs and stuff. Um, so I I think that's what you know would catch people's ear. Um, definitely caught mine. When I find something that I like, um, I just listen to it over and over and over again. And, and that's Brando's music. I mean, it's uh, it's everything I would look for in music, especially in hip hop. Just from a personal standpoint, just as a as a homeboy partner, you know what I'm saying? Brando keeps shit one hundred, always. Only time I miss you when I swerve. Get the curb. Only time I miss you when I swerve. Get the curb. Only time I miss you when I swerve. Get the curb. Kick you and your bullshit to the curb. Uh -huh. Oh, now you been acting like a hoe. Like ho. Need to check your feelings at the door. Be do. feeding in your bullshit anymore. In the after hours in my zone. Late at night, my mind becomes serene. I ain't sipping, ain't no point, ain't got nowhere to lean. I saw right through the schemes and now I'm stuck right in between. Pussy in your dreams. Pussy to the curb, better watch your mouth. I come with word with a new bitch, tell on my shirt. With the scent of your ex bitch, perk got water on me, don't drip, I surf. Fucking good gas when I'm on my turf. My life is classical. I handle my own, I go out and get it. Your shit is laughable. Pay with no bills in your name. That don't mean you rich, boy, you a lame. I'm too busy locked in with the gang. Rolling on Coopers, the walk color chain. Yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah. All right. You know what I mean? I can mix basically like all of your parts and mix the beat and then he just has to come oh, in, do his. do do his verse and do the little hook parts. Okay. And then drop his ad-libs and stuff. Okay. So, yeah. My dad used to be a uh, DJ. He's a DJ a lot. Never forget, he had like, bought like some brand, brand new turntables and all this, you know, brand new equipment and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And anytime, you know, he wasn't home, I'd sneak in there, I'd, you know, I'd mess with the turntables, I'd, you know, I'd play tracks and, uh, you know, just practice mixing and scratching. And he caught me one time, he came home, I didn't, you know, I had, my, I had the headphones in, I was really into this track or whatever, and uh, he walked in, the, walked in the room, and like, I was expecting, you know, for him to just get in my ass, you know what I'm saying? He, he just walked up to me, he was like, all right, let me show you, you know, let me show you how to do this and do that, and he was showing me like, you know, little things, little tips, and you know, different stuff like that. And uh, ever since then, you know, I've really been connected. I got a job. I started, you know, working a regular nine to five, and you know, I was living, you know, this just this repetitive life. You know what I'm saying? And it just after a while, it just got to me. You know, I just felt like I was out of place. It got to the point where I asked myself when I was like, okay, man, what what do you want to do? Like, what 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 makes you happy? What talent do you have that you can, you know, that you can utilize and you know, and, and make a career out of? And, uh, I went back to music. But ends I change like remote. Stop biting your tongue, it's too late. I won't smoke, nigga. Yo, see your dentist, he pull out the scope. Chop a wrist off your matter, cause two to your bladder. Your bitch with a squirrel, but don't hold a grudge. My phone, I'm tattered, still eating the up for real. But I do me, give a fuck what you feel. Plastic on my body, bitch, I go dummy. Stay moving in silence, you won't hear me coming. I'm still carrying anger. Bitch, I'm a threat to. Oh my god. I'm a 90s kid, and I like 90s hip hop. Alright. I'm not too into the music that's going out now but brando has this style to him this vibe yeah. this uh the way his lyrics roll all that just kind of rolls off in a way that it's just it's uh you know it's an attractive sound who am i i am king boris i uh i do a lot of social media work so as i was fumbling around instagram I th that's how i found brando i literally fell in love with his music immediately i contacted him talked to him Listen to his music, purchase his music because I'm a supporter, and uh, we start working together. You can talk to someone online for years, but when you meet someone, it's a, it's a different thing. And when I uh, I met him actually at the studio, that's the first time we actually met face to face. Uh, he was doing one of his songs. Uh, I think it's called Running. These haters ain't stopping me. Hard bulletproof soda capping don't bother me. Turn all your hate to a mockery. Run up the board, no monopoly. Me stay away from my property. I see the light from the poverty. I mean, he's a cool dude, man. I like his style. I like his vibe. Very chilled. And uh, who who produces his beats? Davis. Davis is a beast. I met him here at the studio too, and uh, like I said, that dude is uh, a magician at his craft.
So I've been doing this like since I was in high school. Uh, I just started fucking around and you know making beats and and recording with my friends and like we built a built a studio like a home studio it was ridiculous basically some carpet on the walls and a mic so but after that like i went to college for two years and then started interning and like you know uh started working here um at baron studios the so first official project me and brando did together was the gray album the gray album is it's it's funny like it's uh it really just happened out of nowhere dude the process was awesome i think we did it the right way because we did it step by step you know i never you know made a full length album before so i really was it was new for me it was a new challenge so um i was like fuck it i'm just gonna make you know make the best music that i can he has an ear for for production i i love his beat picks um it, and i feel like also like the gray album it was it had a sound but it wasn't like listening to the same song over and over again. You know, you sometimes you get that. During during the process of the album, I, I was I was dealing with a lot of you know different things, different uh different different issues uh within that time period. So quite a few of those tracks were you know just me just getting shit off my chest. You know, I, I felt like there was a sound. It, it was cohesive, but there also was like some variation from song to song which made it you know interesting to listen to it's almost like a puzzle to me and i'm just trying to like connect the dots and try to figure out how what's the best way for me to express this you know this emotion I like the way that uh he tends to switch up like his cadence as far as uh the way he attacks the track. You know, he don't keep his rhyme scheme the same. You know, we got a lot of artists out here. You know, they got good music and stuff like that, but it gets boring later on down the line in the song because you keep hearing the same rhyme scheme. No, fuck this. I just think, told I me think that. with Jared, with Jared and you know my, my friends in general, I think uh, they play like a, a, a huge role for just like just uh, support, you know, leak, you know, feeding me, you know, feeding positivity, um, you know, just that, just that, that backbone to keep me, you know, on the right path. <laughs> I think the best thing that I can do is provide support for him. So anytime he's putting out a song or putting out a project, I'm on uh, Instagram, any of my social medias, I'm putting the videos of, of the song playing just so other people can hear it. And honestly, he's the type of person, he he's never asked me to post it on my story or to like just show support and shout him out or anything. I just do it just off the strength that we friends and I want him to know that he has a support system behind him. Definitely. And to know when when he do make it yeah. big, I want I want front row concert tickets. Don't forget <laughs> about me, dog. <laughs> I dealt with like depression a lot, and it was just kind of uh, you know with music it helped me build my confidence. It helped me find out who I really am as a person. Once I figured that out, you know, that's when you know I could care less what people think. I could care you know you don't have to be my friend and blah 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 blah. And uh, I think that's what really kind of helped mold Brando as an artist too, you know, just just that that confidence, that rhythm, and that's what that's what gets me personally. So if I could vibe with a song that way, man, I listen to it forever. His stuff is, you know, it's honest and it's sincere. His lyrics, 
it's all true shit, real shit, things I'm doing, things I'm pursuing, you know, things that's coming to me, things that I'm, uh, that I'm speaking into existence, you know. It, helps, it brings me back to the bigger picture, you know, the whole reason of why I started this journey, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's just a way for me to kind of ground myself, if I could do this all day, you know, I can make songs all day, that's brand new. Tags, I'm trying to pop and I ain't fucking with that social shit. See my numbers change, the aftermath is how I'm supposed to be. I wonder if they'll even notice me. Reflection perfecting a gold piece. Everything that I'm gonna be is really what they do not want to see. Mama was busy at work. Pops, he was busy with work. Broke his wrist too many times. No more cooking up, had to revise the mission reality. Broke my design an instant. Questioning my existence, struggling to keep my mind efficient. Never, never must see devils out here trying to crush my soul, yeah. Fucking burn the backwards like I ran up out of coal, yeah. Locked with so much pressure, can't release it on my own, yeah. 